Alright guys, uh, I cannot see a fucking thing. Hold on. Let me see my mirror. Alright guys, you guys are wanting the truth. I can tell. And Jake wants to join the video. Say hi, Jake. So, the last past few days, I've been thinking, We've. Uh, I'll tell you guys something good in a minute. Um, or something in a minute. Uh, ever since that I told you guys I went to jail, I didn't really tell the full story to what happened. You am loving on me in the video. Uh, so basically, uh, what it is, uh, I'll tell you guys the full story of what happened. Uh, so guys, if you see a little yawn, a little bit of yawning, because I just woke up, so. So anyway, here's the full story. Uh, I got mad at my dad, and uh, one night in August 11th, and um, I got my shit and I took off for no weird reason. Then I called my friend Christopher. Uh, I called him up and told him I was on the streets, and they picked me up. And I was by Samuel, so he came and gave me some gummy candy and shit. And when I did that, uh, really, it really feel good of trying to figure out where to live at. But I noticed a little, little something about him. His name is Christopher Lee Lemon. Do not add him. Leave this. Do not look him up. Do not find him on your Facebook or anything. So, it's important to not to do that. Uh, so basically what it is, I'm giving you guys the truth about when I went to jail. So, the night when he picked me up, he's with this, this gay guy, which is really weird. And had his arm over him, like this, like in the bed. Like, it's just fucking weird. But... I slept on the floor, and when I did, the next day I came up, and after he left, the gay guy left, I, me and him, me and Chris, and the other two were still left, and, and he told me, which he lied, and told me that his aunt was the vice principal of the Morrison School, then to come up, he lied. So we actually we he took the bus. I was on it for drawer riding. The first bus we didn't get caught. Uh the second bus we got caught. Almost, anyway. But and then it was like I was thinking like why he would drive around the first one different towns and different cities and he did it differently and I know it's hard to tell you guys but it's just it's fucked up I've had a fucked up life and my life ain't fucking pretty good nobody's perfect but all I gotta say is that that day when he did that We didn't get caught the first time. The second time we almost did. One second. The second time we almost did. And so I told him to not do this again. And he had this girl on the bus named Bailey Langley. And I know I, I know her now, but at the time I didn't know her. 
she was 12 when I seen her. And I thought she was like 15 or 16. And they told me that uh, I only, the only thing I did was kiss her. And he told me to fuck her. And I'm like, dude, I'm not going to get no charges like that. I ain't going to do that. And shit like that, no. She's a young freaking child that does not need that. She's too fucking young. And I didn't do it. The only thing I did was I kissed her. That's all I think I did. And I can give you the story from her. She can say, tell you that. But. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, As I was saying. So after we got off the first bus, we got the hell out of there. The second time. We about got caught. Luckily, we got out of there and got it safe. So next day, we came out. Next night, we did these different three different nights. The first one was a different. It was the first night, and the second one was a different night. So we did it the next night, and uh, crazy, and. I don't know why we did that. Don't ask me. Ask him. Bull. No. No. Don't, don't ask him. Let's leave him alone. But I don't want you guys to be friends with him. So, um, the second time it was the second night we went out. And done it again. We hid outside the school walls. And there was cameras in there and I didn't see them. So I believe we were on camera. And after that, so it, they like, we were messing around the bus and shit. And one of my friends got up and, uh, named Devin, he got up. And then Chris pressed on the brakes and made him bust the goddamn mirror. So next night, oh my god, I'm sorry about that guys, so much yawning. So, after that we went there and parked it, and got the hell out of there after driving around in cities and shit. So the next one, is this one's really fucked up. The next one. The third one, uh, we went to the third night. We got on the third bus. We was driving around. I should have let him try to drive straight. I should have told him to drive straight. And after that, I would have got my ass out of there. And I would not talk to him again. But, the next night, he was driving around and driving the country roads. And there was a cop. At a, at a house, and after that, it was crazy. Uh, so when we got to the, when we told him well, there's a turtle there, which there was, he turned to the right, and when he did, there was a cop right in front of us, and he shined his flashlight. And we got in trouble. He was chasing us. We was trying to get out of there without no detection. And we got caught. And uh, we got caught. And we went to the area to just turn off our bus. They couldn't see us. He kept wiggling the fucking goddamn key. The light and off, light and off. And right after that, the cop knew we were right. Came right behind the fucking goddamn softball bus that had chips on it that we were eating. We was eating a lot of chips on that bus. And the uh, other thing is, he got in trouble with the deadly weapon. So, uh, yeah. Then that night, we got arrested. 
cop told us to get on the ground, which we did. And yeah, and I went to jail. Now after that, I was in jail for 23 days, and it did not feel good. Jail is not a good place to be, you guys. You guys out there that are getting yourself into trouble, do not try to go to jail. Please. It's not a good place. There's, a, there's guys that could rape you, could freaking kill you and all this shit inside there. Could fucking fuck you up. And it fucks with your life at the end of the fucking year. Trust me. At the end of the year, after you got out, it fucks with your life. And it, get, and it just gets worse. So trust me. It gets worse. But. Another thing is that I was afraid of. I was going to get five years in prison. And still, there were 30 years in prison, but it didn't happen. So on uh, September the 5th, well, it's the 4th, they were going to let me out, but they didn't. And I got mad. And when I was in there, they told me, wait till tomorrow, and we'll see if we'll let you out. So I did. I was, I was upset about it too. But I did wait. And after that, I felt good that day, the next day. Because I got out, got my shit, and got the fuck out of there. And right after that, I never done it. I never do stupid shit like that again. And after that, I didn't know it. Now I know the fuck better than not to do that. I ain't gonna let my son get to nobody like that. Or my daughter. But it's either one, but. So, yeah. That's the full story of what happened, you guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Like, subscribe, comment below, and share my videos. Live stream coming on my birthday. Tomorrow, the, uh, another live stream, too. So, we're having a two day live stream. So, I will see you guys later. Peace!